consider an inclined plane with inclination theta. Let a mass m be placed on its surface just like this. And we have the different forces acting on the mass that is what was one mg were acting vertically downward and an mg cos theta mg cos theta since this angle is theta mg cos theta down the vertically downward and perpendicular to the plane and an mg sin theta mg sin theta acting vertically along the plane and there will be a reaction in the vertically upward direction since the body is sliding down there is a friction there is a friction acting in the upward direction since the body is sliding down it or there is a friction always opposing the motion so the net force of the net force net force acting in the body the body along the plane equal to c since the body is sliding down we know this mg sin theta that is downward force must be greater than the frictional force this must be greater than this one that that's the reason why it is sliding down so the net force will be mg sin theta minus the frictional force fk let's call that as that net force f so f is equal to mg sin theta minus you know the frictional force is mu k times r frictional force is equal to coefficient of friction times the normal reaction but the normal reaction is equal to we from from here they considering the vertical equilibrium we have r is equal to mg cos theta so f is equal to mg sin theta minus mu k times mg cos theta or f is equal to you can take the mg part outside mg times sin theta minus mu k cos theta so that's let's that let's call that equation as equation number one but according to newton's law we have this force is always mass times the acceleration so m a is equal to m g times sin theta minus mu k cos theta you can cancel this m and this m therefore the expression for acceleration will be a is equal to a is equal to g times sin theta minus mu k cos theta this is the expression for acceleration for a body sliding down the plane